Glendale, Arizona, the site for this week three matchup between the Minnesota Vikings and the Arizona Cardinals. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. And, Phil, we've prepared for this game by talking to the players and the coaches. What do you expect? Well, Jim, you're right. We got to talk to a lot of people. And I tell you, there's so many things are even in this football game. What we're going to look at and what both coaches told us, special teams, look for them, look for the hidden yardage, which team can get the longer returns in the return game. And also what has stopped them or what can always be a problem in games like this is penalty. Try to keep them to a minimum. We'll see how it turns out. You know, when you get a matchup at running back, like the one we have here today, you can just look down on the field from the booth, and you can see that breakaway speed and power with your own eyes, and there is a difference out there. Yeah, I think I, I was always, always heard from Bill Walsh. I read it in his book, Trust Your Eyes. So you're right. We look down the field today, and as this thing goes along, you can tell we have two stars at running back, and, man, just give them a little bit of hope, and they can make it happen. It's time to get started, so to the field we go. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. Here comes the Vikings, 2011 first-round pick out of Florida State. Quarterback Christian Ponder. They face first down. They'll run it off the toss. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Here's a look at the offensive unit that needs to get off to a strong start today. After running it, it's second down. Five-step drop. And it's knocked down incomplete. Let's set the defensive starters. Third down. Tight ends in motion here. The formation here, shotgun. Looking to the right side and throwing. And it's off the mark. Dave Zastadil is called on now for the punt. Peterson with a chance to return this one. Brought down at the 41-yard line. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. First and 10. Running for his life. The defense gets the sack. I got to blame the offensive line that time. Giving up the sack early in a game like that. You cannot take chances. Don't overplay as an offensive lineman. If you do it, give up the sack. Number 30 on the carry. And the Eight offense here on in this play. one will be looking three, to put points three. on the board in bunches. Nickel formation here for the defense. Out of the gun. The quarterback throws the pass. And what you do in man-to-man -man defense sometimes, get up there and disrupt the wide receiver. Disrupt his rhythm, disrupt the timing, and what do you get? Another incompletion. Harvin will return the punt. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Vikings getting ready now to start their drive. Nickel formation for the defense here. First down and 10. He's in the clear. Good piece of tackling.
Second down now. Tight end in motion. Gets it again here. Middle. You got to keep your offensive line aggressive. So you got to let them run the football so they can hit those defensive linemen. The run didn't pick up many yards, but it still served the purpose. Third down and one. The quarterback throws to the right. Incompletion by the quarterback that time. It was good, tight, man-to-man -man coverage. Should be a routine punt. and 10. They bring in an extra defensive back. As we get a look at the defensive starters, these linebackers will be counted on today to make plays in the running and passing games. Second and 10. He'll throw it over the middle. With two hands, he has it. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Shove to the sideline. You see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things, but when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. From the red zone. Second down, four to go. Hand off. Going to be a tackle for a loss. One yard loss on the play. This is third down. They'll go shotgun here. He'll fire it out to the left. In on the stop. Good job by the defense at time. Stop him. Inches short of the goal line. Big play. Play number six coming up on this drive. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. Finds the sacred side. Touchdown. team coming out for the point after and the extra point is good Cardinals getting ready to kick it away Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff.
the Vikings getting set now for their next series. It's first down as they head to the line. Adrian Peterson takes the football. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Staying on the ground. They tackle him for a loss. Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And this was the site of one of the most memorable Super Bowls in history when the Giants defeated the New England Patriots in Super Bowl 42 on a late touchdown throw by Eli Manning over the previously undefeated Patriots. A little dime package here for the defense. Third down and 13. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Makes the catch in the open field. What a job by the quarterback. Finding a way to throw that football and pick up another first down. They are marching down the field right now. They bring in the extra tight end. Now first and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That'll close the gap. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. And the point after is good. Vikings getting ready to kick it away. tackle him at the 26-yard line. Cardinals come on to the field for their next series. Offense lines up here. First and 10, challenging the defenders to the right side. Ball's loose. That was careless by the ball carrier that time. When you're careless with the football and you get hit hard, look out, that football's coming out. Here, a split backfield. Second down, eight. They break through, tackle them behind the line. The ball carrier on the play. Loss of one. It's third down coming up. Drop back, shotgun formation. Looking to the right side and throwing. Knocked out of bounds. Good job that time by the quarterback. Man-to-man -man coverage down the field. When you see it, you've got to be accurate with the football. He was at that time, and that's why we got the completion. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. They're going back up top, getting away from the pressure. He's going to be tackled right around the 46-yard line. Coming up, second down. Here's the running play. Off tackle. A tackle behind the line. With the carry. Loss of four on the play. After that run, third and eight for the offense. The quarterback throws to the right. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Hard to play man-to-man -man coverage all the time in the NFL. That time we see the man-to-man -man coverage, the quarterback sees it. Nice throw. First down and 10. He's got some daylight, and he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker? The free fumble. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it. But it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. Two tight ends on the field here. First and ten. They'll go ground. And tackled down at the 43-yard line. Boy, that 
after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. Offense has got to be happy with that. Now first and ten. Back to the ground. He's brought down. you got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Two-minute warning. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. He'll fire it out to the left. That brings the play to an end. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. First down following the long play from the shotgun. And he wants to throw it across the middle. That's a gain of seven. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. On the play. That short pass play picked up six. It's now second down and four. Takes the stab from the shotgun. Looking for an open. Adrian Wilson picks off that pass. Good job by the defensive back. Reading the wide receiver. Makes the break at the perfect time and gets the interception. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Snap back to the quarterback. Out of the gun. On the money. And he's pushed out of bounds. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. To the ground here, to the right, and that'll gain just a few yards. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line, so what will the offense do? They, they better be creative, that's all I know. The defense trying to make a play here in the red zone. Time. Number 30 gets the call. No gain on the play. Three, 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 three. Offense lines up here. Spain runs it across. Touchdown. Arizona Cardinals for the extra point. Count it. The Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard One more snap, and we'll head to halftime. That does it for the first half. Vikings trail in this one.
we're back here now in this one where the Cardinals are leading by seven. Okay, Phil, 30 minutes behind us. How about a little first half analysis? Well, nothing like going in at halftime with the lead. It just makes you feel good. It makes you think all that week's preparation and hard work, we were right in what we were trying to do. So the big thing is in going in at halftime, rest up, be determined, try to come out in the second half and act like you're behind. If you can do that, you can hold on to that lead and go on and win the game. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That picks up seven. Well, the quarterback gets the completion. It's going to look good on the stat sheet, but there was no chance of getting the first down by catching and running against this defense. Quarterback's got to be a little braver and throw the football down the field. Second and two. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Number 30 gets the call on the run. No game. Third and two here after the run. He gets it again on this drive. The tackle is made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Harvin will return the punt, makes the move, and gets around the defender. Vikings get ready to start their drive. First down coming up. This is a five-step drop back. The pass doesn't find a mark. The defense comes out in the nickel. Second down and 10. Working that left side. The reception, easy, wide open. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Offense lines up here. First and 10. Quarterback tosses it to the outside. They bring him to the turf. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Going across the middle. Tackle right around midfield. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts him in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Third and three. Ball's out. Bringing the play to an end. That is not a turnover. That is truly a takeaway by the defense. Their hustle to the football, the hard hitting, that's what got them the takeaway. First down here. They better hurry to get the snap. There's the marker. It comes out. Delay that snap was not in time. It'll be a delay of game call. Repeat, first down. The Arizona Cardinals ready to take over the football. They come to the line, and it's first down. Out of the shotgun formation. Challenging the defenders to the right side, and he's tackled at the 34-yard line. That's a good job by the quarterback, recognizing it's man-to-man -man defense. And when you see that, just watch the receiver lead him to the open space. Nice completion. First down and 10. Has some space to work with. He steps out. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the... Arizona is in for the score. Touchdown. What a good job by the wide receiver. Not a terrific pass, but he just goes in there, makes a wonderful catch for the touchdown. And following the extra point, the Cardinals lead by 14. 
Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. Not giving up another inch. The Vikings are getting set for their next possession. It's a two tight end formation. First and ten. Here's the handoff to Adrian Peterson. Gains about three. Number 28 with the carry. Gains three. Extra DBs all over the field. Go, go, go. From the gun. Trying to work the middle of the field. Here's the pass, and it's broken up incomplete. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. Now looking at third down. Steps back to throw. Great pass, great catch, great control. Nowadays, it's getting harder and harder to play this tight man-to-man -man coverage because you're not even allowed to touch these, these superstar wide receivers. So he challenged the play, and the coach's challenge does not pay off. Well, I, I agree with the head coach still. I would have made this challenge, and it was a little bit of a gamble, but it was worth it. From the gun, eyeing that left side. Hauls it in for the first down. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. That reception gave them the first down. Running back gets it on the handoff. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second down and six. They feed him the ball again. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. These first downs add up. It's like body punches in a fight. You keep hitting guys to the body. They get tired. They give up. That's what's happening to this defense right now. Play number six coming up on this drive. They send the tight end in motion. The formation here, shotgun. Looking across the middle, he has the grab. When you talk about throwing the football into open space, that's almost always against zone defenses. That's what we saw that time. Good job by the quarterback throwing it in there. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Second and six. Throwing now to his left. That reception picks up the first down. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Now first and ten. Adrian Peterson takes the football. Up to the middle. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Second and eight. They'll run with it again, and it's Darrell Washington who makes the tackle. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game. Their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. Dropping back three. Ball is batted down. This defense can pressure the quarterback. There's no doubt about it. They did this time, and it results in another incompletion. The field goal try. Yes, sir. That was a good hold, good kick, three points. Good job by the offense. Cardinals come onto the field now for this next series. The defense comes out in the nickel. First and ten. Draw play here. 
Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. It's now second down. Back to the running back. He'll go to the left. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Offense lines up here. The quarterback's calling something out. Third down and six. Looking to the right side and throwing. The Arizona Cardinals get a first down. Six in the books. You never know with the talent of these guys nowadays. Little short passes. You think they're harmless, and look what happens. They got so much talent all the way down the field for the score. will try to add one to the board. The point after is good. And after that extra point, the Cardinals are leading by 18. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. Vikings getting ready now to start their drive. The defense comes out in the dime. First down and 10. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Throws out the arm, and he's taken out of bounds. What a job by the quarterback, finding a way to throw that football and pick up another first down. They are marching down the field right now. Offense lines up here. First and ten. The quarterback throws the pass. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that's the new NFL. Just keep going behind the line of scrimmage and see if the athletes can catch it and make some yards. None there that time. A loss of a couple yards. Second down coming up. Out of the gun. Running away from the sack. And he's forced to the ground. The name of the game is hit the guy with the football, isn't it? That's what it is. The quarterback has it. The defensive end, what a nice play. Gets to him that time and gets the big hit. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. The official whistles this one dead. This is going to be a delay of game. Still third down. Third and 19 here after the penalty. He'll throw it over the middle. Makes the catch in open space. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. They'll go shotgun here. Surveys and the throw, it's incomplete. And you can see how they fared in the red zone to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Verizon, rule the air.
About to take the snap inside the 20. Tight ends in motion here. Second and 10. The quarterback throws to the right. Shoots around the defender. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? Drop back, shotgun formation. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That pass, well defended. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. And will turn it over on downs. The defense does a fantastic job holding strong. Not where you want to begin a series. Backed up this field. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Hard sometimes as an offensive coordinator to call plays to catch the defense off guard when you're winning and it's late in the game. Uh, so they played it very predictable there. The defense was ready, nowhere to go. They've got him down there. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things, but when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job of the offensive line that time. Second down here after that run play. Another carry here. Brought down at the 47-yard line. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. This game is about to finish. That's going to do it here in this one. And coming up next is the post-game wrap-up, brought to you by Gatorade. G-Series Recover, giving you the protein you need to rebuild your muscles. Now you start to get a little momentum going. You got the win last week, and you pick up another victory here today. It, it's just awesome, isn't it? Uh, you know, athletes are incredible. Give them a little positive reinforcement, like winning the football game. They believe in what they can do. Uh, the coaches believe in them. So they actually give them more opportunities. They trust them more. And that's how you get a winning streak going. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.